Everybody welcome back to Riot Wrenching. So today, as you can see from the bike, we got a different windshield on here. Uh, this is a Freedom windshield, and we're gonna talk a little bit about it. And the reason why we did this was because when I did the video on installing uh, a windshield, and then also the how to determine height on a windshield, I kept getting a lot of comments about Freedom windshields that I should, should have gotten a Freedom windshield. I should try a Freedom windshield. So finally, I got so many of them, I said, well, I've never used a Freedom windshield. So I contacted Freedom Windshields and I got a Freedom Windshield. And they were very confident with their product, which made me feel good that I would like their windshield better than the Clockworks windshield that I put on there initially. All right, with the Clockworks windshield, we're going about 70 right here. So the ceiling of air is right there. Uh, so it's hitting my helmet and this is on a seven inch windshield. With the Clockworks windshield, my hands are completely exposed on my 12 inch handlebars. There's no wind deflection at all on my hands. Okay guys, so we're, uh, we're taking the new Freedom windshield out for its first run and uh, give it a good test ride today. For a road test, we're doing about 75 miles per hour. With the Freedom 9 inch windshield, the ceiling of air is all the way up here above my helmet. So I'm getting nothing on my face. It's also deflecting the wind off of my hands from my 12 inch handlebars. So stop for some gas. Um, I got a good ride on it. Uh, took it up to 80 once. Uh, just cruised about 75, real nice. Um, it definitely deflects wind better than any windshield I've ever used. Um, I've had, an, this is a nine inch windshield and um, it's got an eight and a quarter inch rise from the top of the fairing. The uh, visibility, obviously right now, <laughs> I've got the plastic on it, you know, because I want to make sure it's the right windshield. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm going by what they're saying, you know, on their, on their test ride instructions. So it, it has done well. The, uh, I guess you could say the ceiling, that's what you would call it, where the, where the wind is, you know, is above your head. You kind of saw it in the ride. It's all the way up here. It's way over my head. So, I mean, I'm not getting anything. I can actually hear my stereo a little bit better, too. All right, so looking at some of the different windshields here, we got the Freedom windshield, the Clockworks windshield, and the stock Harley windshield. Um, the curvature is the big issue for me with installation. Um, as you know from one of my first videos on the um, issues installing windshields, I got one off Amazon, a cheap one, and the curvature was totally wrong and it was really gonna cause, I would think, damage to your fairing long term. So, the, obviously the Harley windshield just drops in perfectly. The Clockworks is pretty close. You gotta push the middle in a little bit to make it fall in. Um, but when you compare the curvature of the stock Harley one to the Freedom one, it is, I can, I can barely push down, it is almost perfectly exact for the curvature. So one of the other things I noticed was when you look at the Clockworks and the Harley one, they're both notched at the holes where they go into the, uh, the, 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 the round part of the fairing that, that they, they lock into. Freedom windshields didn't make that notch. They, they, they drilled the holes exactly where they need to be. And they do fit exactly where they need to fit, which is pretty, pretty good engineering. I mean, as far as you know, creating a windshield, because if you look at the Clockworks windshield, their hole is oblong, which means it's not as exacting as what Freedom windshields did to theirs. The Harley is exacting, the hole is exactly the same as a Freedom one, but they did put the notch to make it easier for install. So the next thing is we're gonna test the uh, thickness of the windshield, the actual material it's made out of. Freedom windshields says that their windshields are 30% thicker than a stock Harley windshield. So let's see how thick a stock Harley windshield is first. We got my digital caliper going here. It's set for millimeters. So we've got uh, 2.9 2 millimeters, we'll call it three. That's on the stock one. Then for the Freedom windshield, and I took the plastic off, guys, because I know somebody's gonna say, well, you left the plastic on. We got 4.4. So that, so 30% of the three millimeters would be 3.9 millimeters 
is what 30% of a stock one would be, and we're sitting at 4.1. So it's actually thicker, 4.0, 4.1, depends if I move my hand. So we're actually sitting a little bit thicker than even the 30%. Um, let's look at the clockworks while we're at it too. So, wow. So the clockworks is even uh, 2.9, so that's the same. So the clockworks is the same thickness as the Harley-Davidson windshield. So they definitely uh, have a thicker windshield. What that's going to do, it's going to help with the wobbling of the, the plastic of the windshield at taller windshield heights. At a short windshield height like this, it's not an issue. You just don't have enough re wind resistance, you know, to, to, to merit a thicker windshield. But when you get up to, you know, windshields like this, 9 inch or 10 inch or, my goodness, 16 inch that they even make, um, the thicker plastic is really going to help with the windshield shake. We're going to show the fitment of the windshield. Um, You've already seen this if you follow me on YouTube and also my, my blog uh, about the fitment of windshields install, or issues installing a windshield on a Harley. Uh, this is the stock Harley windshield. And as you can see, it goes in without any issue. Now, of course, you, you got to pull it out a little bit to get it to drop down in there. I, I'm not concerned about that. What I'm concerned about is, is the curvature with the fairing, how well it goes in without pushing the fairing in some way to have to make it fit. So that's the stock Harley. It fits as it should. Now we're gonna do the clockworks. So the clockworks, as you can see, and it's in another video of mine, if I just hold it up there, the clockworks does not fall naturally. They have, they have too much of a bend, or not enough here in the middle, and you actually have to kind of push in the middle, and then it just drops in by itself. Now it, it does cause a little tiny bit of buckling right here, it, on my bike, it's on this side, but there's none on, on the, this side, so I don't know. It's still it's still good. I mean, obviously, it, you're not going to have any issues with the clockworks with the, with buckling, but but it's not perfect. Okay, so now let's do the uh, Freedom windshield. So we're sticking the Freedom windshield down there. I took the plastic up, guys, because um, it needs to slide in naturally. And here we go. And it pretty much goes in exactly like it's supposed to comes a little bit out right here at the at the front but it's very little actually if I, if I if I if I push outward on the top if it falls by itself so the curve on this is engineered exceptionally well um, better than uh, probably any windshield I've had um, they just did a great job on it okay for installation of the new freedom windshield um, they say to uh, they got all this stuff on here, windshield care, test ride, all that. It's pretty good. I like, I like the fact they put this here so you can read it before you even put the windshield on. Um, they say to pull it up about three inches, the, the plastic film. That's on both sides. So that's probably about three inches. And then go ahead and install it. Now, the installation of this one's a little bit different because of the fact it doesn't have the notches for the holes. So you've actually got to kind of reach from behind and push out to get it to snap into place. And that's on all three holes. Now you'll hear it, you just heard it snap, there it is. It's snapped, it's in place. I do like that. Um, it really sits in there well, I mean it's solid. And then just put your three bolts back in. Okay, next we pull the plastic off as instructed by the manufacturer with it on the bike. That's the front. That's the back to reveal our beautiful Freedom Shield windshield. So another thing that I really liked, and you guys know how I am about components fitting properly on a bike, is once it's installed, if you look down here along the seam where the windshield meets the outer fairing, there's absolutely zero buckling. And that is exceptional manufacturing. So I'm really, really happy with um, the product that they're putting out there for motorcycles. So I took the bike out a couple times and uh, once I got the uh, plastic film off the windshield and really gave it a good ride, um, that way I could see through it, you know, because I wanted to see about, you know, distortions in the windshield. And I do have to say that the recurve on a lot of windshields up here will cause a, a, a weird distortion. Um, well, I've, ha I've had distortion on every windshield I've had. The Freedom, though, whatever they've done, there is no distortion in the recurve. So when you're looking through that windshield, you're not going to have, you know, weird, like the roads aren't going to be wavy or anything like that on you. 
So it's, a, it, it's really well built. Um, there's also no shake, so it's thick. As I showed you before, it's, it's just over 30% more uh, or thicker than the uh, stock Harley windshield. And it doesn't, it doesn't shake around. Now, like, especially the eight and a half inch clockworks I had, that thing, I mean, it would be just like that all over the place. And it would really be difficult to focus on the road in front of you because this windshield would shake all the time. But I get none of that. So what that does is it allows you to focus on the road more. The other thing is it directs the, the, the wind over my head. I, I showed that earlier in the ride, one of the ride videos. Um, probably about a good three inches over my head. And it pushes it around my shoulders as well. And I think that's due to this little, this little wing that they put out on both sides. Um, that helps with visibility as well because the wind's not hitting you and your glasses aren't bouncing up and down. And I've found that, that that's really tough when your glasses are doing this and you're trying to focus on the road. Um, also, it doesn't dry your eyes out because you're not getting hit full face in the eyes. And if you don't have the, 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 uh, the glasses that have the foam around them, then that wind comes in. And I've, I've had some serious issues with my eyes getting dried out on rides from just the, the wind hitting me in the face. The, um, there was no handling issues. You know, when you get the bigger windshields, you got more wind resistance. And it can, especially on a, a, a fork mounted fairing, it can cause shake or wobble in the handlebars, you know, one side or the other, depending on like how wind comes at you. Uh, it, it deflects quite well. I, I didn't get a lot of shake. I got a little bit. I, I'm not gonna say there wasn't any, but um, it was negligible. I mean, it wasn't anything that even worried me a bit, but that's part of, you know, getting, you know, a bigger windshield. So I was real happy about that. Uh, it reduced the sound to my ears because it blows it around. So I was able to hear my radio better. And the other thing is that um, because it's, the wind's not rushing past your ears, um, you're not going to have eardrum damage, you know, long term down the road. Uh, and you, you can get that too. That's why some people wear earplugs when they ride. But this thing de deflects it around there. So I don't get that, that whistling, howling, and, and rumble through my ears as I'm riding the whole time. Now, if you got a full helmet, that's not an issue. But if you're like me, I ride with a half helmet, or if you ride with a quarter helmet, or if you don't ride with a helmet at all, then that makes a big difference on you know, a safety issue for your ears. The uh, other thing is the heights. So when I get on the bike, I lift it up, and I get in the ride position, my nose is right about the top here. So they start at five inches, which is way down here. Mine's a nine inch, but they go up to 16 inches. I mean, that's like way up here. So you can get, you know, the windshield that you need, exact windshield you need with all the height options that they, they, they've, uh, they've made into the manufacturing of the Freedom windshields. So the other thing is that when I put the 12 inch handlebars on the street glide, and especially with the stock windshield, um, the, the, the handlebars are above the fairing. So my hands are directly subjected to wind and road debris and bugs and anything else. Uh, this little extra wing they put on, interestingly enough, it deflects the wind around my hands. So I'm not saying it's going to prevent things from hitting my hands, but it did make for a little bit more comfortable ride on my hands. All right, everybody, so that's Freedom Windshields. I've been impressed with both customer service and the uh, performance of the windshield and the exceptional quality of manufacturing of the windshield as well. Um, I, I want to thank my viewers for mentioning Freedom Windshields because without the comments about trying one, I probably never would. Now that I have it, it's going to stay on the bike. I absolutely love the, uh, the, the windshield. I also want to thank uh, Freedom Windshields for providing a coupon code to everybody who's watching the video. It's down below in the description. And when you get your Freedom Windshield, you can use that code at checkout for a discount. And as always, you know, subscribe. I always say that, subscribe. It really helps us. We appreciate all the subscribers. And um, there's also an article related to the uh, video. And so to find that, just visit my website at rideatwrenchit.com.